they're so good at times it appears they're playing with 15 players. And uh, after watching film Monday, I went home depressed. How are we going to block and get yards versus this defense? Uh, and, and really, it's a, it's a compliment to them, their staff. Uh, they've done a great job of collecting uh, big people that run and little people that hit. And uh, it's an awesome uh, opportunity for us uh, to come out and compete against a, a unit that's so highly thought of and so well prepared. So it's going to be a good challenge, and, and our guys have had a great week of practice, and they're up for it. What is Bob, what is Bob some of those guys that cross that front? Um, who stands out specifically? Employee number 91, <laughs> employee number 96, employee number 99, employee number 52. I mean, immediately they, they jump off. The, the film at you. And then there's another couple of guys that will show up as well in every frame. How hard is it? I mean, you, we've talked about this before, but the fact that you're shuffling the offensive line seemingly every week, how tough is it to get that chemistry and then when you have to face a front like the Jets or the Cincinnati or even the Tennessee? Yeah, it's, it's not a lot of fun planning uh, for a defense like that with, uh, you know, different parts than you're, than you're used to playing with. So it's, it's been a challenge for us, but we faced that adversity all year, and this week is no different. Um, you, you'd always like to have that continuity. You always like to have the next guy, the guy next to you uh, from the previous week because now you know his run calls, his pass calls, how he pass sets, how he steps in a certain gap when they're double teaming. So those things are absent when, you, when you're plugging a new part into the uh, machine. So it does affect you, but – you have to keep going because that's part of life in the National Football League and it's football in general. So you just go on and you do the best you can and you see what happens. How do you think, uh, how do you think Crow and, and Duke, what, what's their mindset knowing what's facing them this weekend? They're excited because they know this is one of, the, uh, one of the best defenses in the entire league, if not the best. So they're excited to find out what they're going to be able to do uh, versus this front. Uh, they've got some things in mind we, we think we can take advantage of, and they're looking forward to uh, executing that. Is there a part of you, you know, you said you went home Monday a little depressed, but there's got to be a part of you that's excited to kind of see what this running game can do against a defense like that. Though. No doubt about it, because that's the competitor in all of us as coaches and as players, is that you, you really look forward to challenges like this every week. And in this league, it's, it's hard to run the football versus anyone let alone a defense that is so stocked and loaded with talent and, and fast and, and tough players. So it's, uh, it's one of those where you look at it and you're depressed for about an hour, and then after that you roll up your sleeves and say, okay, we're going we're gonna to figure out some things and how to take advantage of the weaknesses that you do see. When you go to a veteran quarterback like Josh, who's shown what he can do in this league, do you think that naturally kind of loosens up a defense as opposed to when – it's a young quarterback. The defenses tend to stack the box. Well, it's, it's a comfort for us because we know we have a veteran back there who's been through so many different battles. He's tried and tested. So it definitely eases you from a standpoint, will we have control of the game? Will we have a complete understanding of what they're doing to us, when they're going to do it? And then when you have a veteran, he can anticipate those things and relay that to the rest of the offense moving forward. personnel on the offensive line. How are your guys adjusting to that? Well, honestly, we've kind of gotten so used to it. Uh, we, it doesn't matter anymore now. We, we, if, if it doesn't happen, we're kind of looking around like, what, you know, where's the new guy? You know, so uh, at first it was a bit of a challenge, but we've come to accept it that those things happen and our guys are fighting and giving us everything they got. And that's, that's why we respect this, this group of men so much is because they've faced adversity and instead of running from it, they've kind of embraced it and says, we're still going to make it work. We're still going to go out there and do everything we can to win this football game. So we're proud of them as coaches, and uh, we look forward to this next challenge Sunday. The way Kevin Hogan was able to run so successfully last week, even before Cody got hurt, um, do you think that's something that you can carry week to week, or does it have, there have to be some kind of element of surprise with the team not expecting that? No, that's one of the things that Coach is, is really on top of. He's, he's always looking for 
uh, another opportunity to make some more yards, another opportunity to get a touchdown. He's always looking for ways to be creatively um, different that will help our offense grow. So every week we look forward to him coming up with something that's a unique package that the opponent hasn't seen and in going into this game. And, and this week, hopefully it'll be uh, no different. We'll have something that they maybe they haven't seen or prepared for. Malcolm Johnson, obviously the roster move now, it's, it's Dan Vitale back there, Malcolm's gone. So what kind of drove that decision in your mind and, and what does Vitale bring? Well, I think that's that's more of a question for, for head coach to answer. But from, from my standpoint, as an assistant, you coach who shows up to work and that's never going to change. And so we've got a young man that we'd like to give an opportunity to see how he plays. And uh, he's excited for it as well. So Sunday at one o'clock, New era at fullback. Let's see what happens.